Good Friday morning, my favorite Wildcats. Happy Friday, April 29th, 2029. Boys and girls, you have finished the month of April. Tomorrow is April 30th, and then Sunday is May 1st, and then when you come back, we will be headed into the final month of the school year. We've had a great week, it's been long, but we've done a great job and we're gonna have a fabulous Friday. At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance led by Mrs. Claude Felter's class. Great job, first graders. Please remain standing for our moment of silence. Today, we're gonna bow our heads and think quietly to ourselves. Let's bow. Nicely done, boys and girls. Please remain standing for our Wildcat Creed led by Mrs. Claude Felter's first grade. Nicely done, everyone. You may be seated. Today is our out of uniform day, so thank you to everyone who paid their dollar and um, are, is donating their dollar to our school. Like I said, we're gonna use it for our student activities accounts, which pays for field trips, which I know a couple of field trips are coming up. It helps pay for things like clubs and teams and snacks. And so thank you to everyone who donated $1. Today for lunch, it is pizza pull apart pretzel with soft cheese, or soft pretzel with cheese, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, broccoli, fruit, and milk. We've got some students and staff members celebrating their birthday over the weekend. Celebrating her birthday today is Susanna Jean. Happy birthday, Susanna. Celebrating her birthday tomorrow, April 30th, is Dot Ta Sui. Um, I haven't printed off the May student birthdays, but we do have a staff member celebrating her birthday on Sunday, May 1st, which is Mrs. Kapetsky. So if you see Mrs. Kapetsky in the hallway this morning, be sure, or today, be sure to wish her an early happy birthday. All right, we've done a pretty good job of being respectful and responsible with our Chromebooks today or this week. Keep it up, boys and girls. We need them every day. I know Mrs. Tasker has printed off a lot of lanyards and a lot of bus tags. So I hope you are using them. I hope you are taking good care of them um, so that we can get you home safely every day. All right, uh, I did send some private messages to about 12 people who have not turned in their chocolate sales. Uh, please get that money turned in. We've made a great profit, which is gonna help our fifth grade camp tremendously. So please make sure you get that money turned in. Um, even if you don't have all of it, we will take what you have um, and because that helps all of our sales. All right, we are going to slightly pause today. I believe third and fifth grades are almost completely done with iLearn. I know fourth grade is going to need to take the science test on Monday, I believe. But boys and girls, you have rocked. You have been amazing. You've worked so hard. You've been so meticulously careful, cautious. Uh, you've read every question. You've listened. You've responded well. I could not be more proud of you for how well you've done on iLearn. So keep up the good work, boys and girls. You've done great. Keep it up. All right, I know yesterday, I don't think I checked the attendance award, so I will announce on Monday who won it. But I do know Mrs. Smith's class is, I think, kind of still in the lead. All right, today we're gonna celebrate some Winchester winners during our third quarter convocation. We are gonna recognize outstanding students for behavior. We've got some students who are gonna be specially recognized because of how they did on a, an assessment. Um, we're going to recognize some teachers as well. So everyone knows how to behave in our convocations. We will have special guests, and I know you're going to do a great job. 
All right, we want to say a goodbye and good luck to Miss Grubb and Miss Dim. Uh, they have finished their student teaching today and they will be going off and to enter the world of teaching and becoming professionals. So if you see Miss Grubb, who's Mr. Oblon's student teacher, or Miss Dim, who's Miss Metcalf's student teacher, uh, be sure to wish them good luck, say goodbye, thank them for everything they did while they were at Winchester. All right, next week is Staff Appreciation Week. And that is a week set aside where we thank our teachers for all of their hard work, teachers and staff. And so we're gonna have some spirit days. And so Monday is gonna be Teachers Are Leaders and you're gonna dress like your favorite teacher. So you might say, huh, Miss Hendrick wears a camouflage jacket. I have a camouflage jacket. Or Mr. Goss always wears an IU shirt. I have an IU shirt. Or Mrs. Smith really likes pugs. Well, I've got a shirt with pugs on it. So dress up like your teacher. You might say, you know what? Mrs. Lancaster always wears fun dresses with bright flowers and colors. I'm gonna wear something like that. Or I wanna be like Mr. Oblon and I wanna wear my gym pants and my gym shirt. So on Monday, you can dress up like your favorite teacher. There is also a special thing that I'm sending just to parents because we don't want our teachers to see it. So don't let them know about it, but make sure your moms and dads see it. All right, like I said, we had a pretty good Thursday. I know we're gonna have a great Friday. I'm so excited to celebrate and recognize some of our awesome boys and girls, um, and we're gonna have a great day. So these are long announcements and we have gotta go fast. So make it a great day, Wildcats. Choice is yours. Bye everybody.